Hey guys, this is Nathan and Chris. We're hanging out at GitCon 2018. And in this video, we're going to take a guitar riff and show a few different approaches to making a bass line to it. So that's the riff I uh, came up with. And uh, let's see how it goes. Awesome. So you told me earlier, it's kind of like an A Dorian feel. Yeah, yeah. And I heard like... Uh, maybe an E, or I'm sorry, A minor to E minor to yeah. a D major kind of feel. Yeah, yeah. So for the first approach, I'm just going to kind of chug along with 16th notes, and I'll play a little drum track here, and let's give it a shot, see what it sounds like. Awesome. And I'll, I'll stick to just the root notes of the chords. Okay. So for the next one, I'm going to do the same rhythmic, just kind of pulsing below, and we're going to switch up the harmony. The first chord that we're playing is that A minor. Yeah. Yeah, so that's spelled A, C, E. And what I'm going to do is, even though this riff is in Dorian, which has an F sharp, I'm going to borrow from the parallel Aeolian and play an F over that chord. And can you play the uh, just an A minor chord for me? Yes, sir. So that's a really beautiful chord on its own. And now I'm going to add the F below it, which will make it F major 7. So it kind of gives it a different color to it. Yeah. I'll do a few different things like that, like change the harmony a little bit and maybe even change the inversion of the chord, like when we go to the E minor. I'll play a G or a B, and we can just get different textures and different pushes and pulls throughout the riff. This makes it way more interesting and kind of off in a way. Yeah, it, but, it kind of is like, wait, does that work? No, yeah. maybe. Let me hear it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is in at certain parts of a song, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. you, know, you you probably don't want to do it the whole time, but if yeah. you have like a, a very nice and harmonic and really easy to listen to part, and then you go in as you told like into a bridge. Yeah, and you make it really go nuts like Absolutely. with an F over an A minor. It's like. Okay, wow. <laughs> and the nice thing about it too is that since we're changing the underlying harmony, if there's a vocal melody or even like a, a guitar motif riff lead line on top, those don't have to change. So you still get the satisfaction of hearing that repetition, but it's just a slightly different yeah. coloration to it. For the last two riffs, I was using just a constant pulsing, 8th or 16, depending on how you are, are feeling the beat. This next one, I'm going to use space. And what space does is it opens it up. It'll allow the lead lines to pop out a little bit more. It's almost like a, a faux sidechain compression. And it also makes it groove a lot harder, especially if you're playing the bass notes in sync with the kick drum. <laughs> I'm loving that one. Yeah. S space and breaks and dynamics, that's, if it comes down to interesting music, that's, that's, my, that's my thing. Totally. I love it. It allows, I think, the melody to breathe more. And it, it's just more of like a, more of a head bob yeah. too, you know? Yeah. For the next riff, what we're going to do is combine each one of those approaches. So I'll leave room for some space. I'll do some uh, harmonic trickery and also just stick to the root notes and, and see if, Within that, we have maybe a more complex, but not overly complex bass line. 
And something that I forgot to mention earlier is that another approach that a lot of people use and a lot of times is effective is to just double exactly what the guitar is doing. And of course that isn't appropriate for every genre of music, but you know, for the heavier kinds and even just to, to quote it sometimes, it works well in any genre in my opinion. Uh, so I might sprinkle some of that in there too. Okay, All so right. which one is your favorite? Yeah, well, how, me how personally? Would you, how would you approach ah. this lick if it was like, you know, me coming to you, hey, Nathan, let's, let's do this song, let's, let's finish it up and record your part? Honestly, I might play a, a similar way to the way I'd play it live, which is have exact syncopated points where I know I'm going to do this with the drummer, exact points where I know that I'm going to double the guitar line, and then maybe some room to just kind of breathe and just, you know, have at it, but, but without you know, noodling and sweeping yeah. all over the place and, and messing up the riff in the song. Yeah. So what, in your opinion, would you prefer? Well, I do love space and music, whether if it's, you know, bass, guitar, drums even, you know, like, mm -hmm. like the stub, um, you know, cymbals and everything. Um, so I would definitely love some of that mm -hmm. in, in your parts. Uh, but I also love like harmonies. Mm -hmm. Like uh, unison stuff or harmonies, yeah. you know, whatever fits better to the yeah. part. Uh, so but so I was playing in unison with you there, but we could sit down and experiment with some different yeah, harmonies. Yeah, exactly. That, that would be way cooler even, but maybe also weirder. So maybe we would come back to yeah. unison because it's like, maybe that's stronger, you know? It's mm -hmm. not like that, that yeah. weird to listen to. Yeah. And some, yeah. sometimes that just fits better. Totally. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Oh, Nathan. It was yeah. a pleasure, really. Well, it's, uh, pleasure's all mine. Dude, it's killer. <laughs> it's so, yeah. Well, guys, this is Chris and Nathan coming at you from GitCon 2018, and thank you for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care.